What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute glutes and abs circuit. I've got my sliders and I've got my glute bands today and we've got three rounds of 45 seconds for every exercise. For my dumbbells today, I've got 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells as well as my 40 for the glute bridge and I've got my sliders for some good old hamstring curls and my glute bands of course for the rest of the glute work. We'll hit some abs, we'll hit some glutes and we're gonna work hard together. So grab your stuff, let's go ahead and get warmed up. All right, let's go heels to glutes. Open up the quads, open up the hips. Good job. I think you're gonna love the format of this workout today, by the way. Three exercises, then we take a 45 second little keep your heart rate up break, and we do those three times through. Then we'll move on to a new set of three exercises. Hands on your hips, take it back, back, back. There we go. Bend one leg at a time. My idea for this is just to keep you moving, but also get you enough targeted muscle action per muscle group in each circuit, that you reach that muscle fatigue, then we cardio it out and just kind of low impact jog for a second, then we go back to it, okay? So hands down, feet back, pedal your heels down. Good job, hold the left one down and just lift, lower, lift, lower, three. Two, switch sides, lift, lower. A really good stretch as you drop it down. Two, one, exhale into a plank. Great job, inhale, exhale, hips go to the floor. Nice work, look up. And come onto all fours. Good work. Left heel goes out for five, four, lift, three, two, one. We do the same thing on the other side. Heel goes out, go up five, three, two, one. Open your hips up towards me. That same leg goes up five, two, one. Switch sides, five. One, good, plank position, hands down. Gonna open it up and then rotate, open. Good job. Just about 45 seconds and we will get started. You're doing great. One more each arm, open it up, down switch, up. Good, back to the plank. Let's go wide feet outside of your mat. Drop your hips down, drive your knees out. There you go, up and down. Four, three, two. All right, let's get into it. Romanian deadlift to regular deadlift is your first exercise. All right, so we take it to a hinge, then a squat. Here, up, sit, up. Ready? Let's go in five. I've got my 20s. Exhale, go. Good work. We'll move on to a new exercise, then another one, and then we'll have a 45 second jog in place. Good job. Get nice and low on this first round. Open up your hips. Five seconds, come on. Two. Good, dumbbells out of the way. Standing, hip abduction. I'm going with my medium. Driving your legs out to the side. Okay, hands on your hips or out to the side. Just don't lean. Let's go. And I'm not thinking heel lift, I'm thinking, or I am thinking heel lift. <laughs> Correction, I'm not thinking toe lift is what I meant to say. Good, and if you're having trouble connecting here, bend just a bit at your hips, then drive your heel, okay? You already have that little stretch from the tiny hinge. 
good job. And this will assure you're not gonna lean as much, okay? Keep it up. There we go, come on, two, one, lay it down. We've got bicycles for the third exercise of this circuit. All right, support your head. Exhale, let's go. Good, keep that crunch. Ribs are reaching to the floor. Lower belly is rolled back. Good, now reach up. March it in. Good, 10. Two, amazing job, come on up. 45 seconds. We jog in place, okay? If you want, you can also do a band abduction, and I want you to keep your heart rate up here, okay? I'm going side to side. We start back at the top of those three in just about 25 seconds, okay? Give me two, 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 two. Good job, back to one and one. Boom, 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 10. All right, let's get ready. Deadlift to squat, four. And we're off. Good job. Give me a little explosive nature here. So if you're reaching, I want you to squeeze, come to neutral instead of just bringing it in, okay? Five. Breathe, good job. Back to the band work. And if you don't have a band, you can also throw a dumbbell on each quad, boom, boom. All right, let's walk it out this time. Here we go. And stand in the middle or you can squat walk with me. Just want your knee outward driving the whole 45. Good job, second half, let's go. Here we go, 10. It's getting a little spicy. Four. Breathe, bicycles. Round two. All right, come on down. If you want a little extra challenge, you can throw a band over your toes. Hold and drive, okay? So over your shoelaces, like this. Okay, let's go. Good job, nine. Rest, 45 for some low impact cardio, or you can hold a glute bridge right there. All right, a little active rest.
Good job. Up, up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Come on, keep it up. 15. All right, eight seconds. Last round, are you ready? Squat and deadlift. Two, let's go. Last round through these three. Then we move on to a new set of three. Give me that squeeze up. And breathe. All right, throw that band around your legs. Whew. You're doing great. Keep the burn up right here. Two, one. Good, just keep the knees driving out. Seventeen. Whew. Fourteen. Don't let up, you got ten. Three. Good job. All right, bicycles, last round, and 45 second rest, and we'll move on to a new set. 3 Let's go. Good job. Come on. Twenty. Good, good, good. Come on, think power. Ten. Two. Breathe for forty-five. You're going to be down on the ground for the next one. So if you want to, you can hold a forty-five second plank. All right, we're gonna start with dumbbell twist for exercise four, okay, right here. Then you're gonna pop up clean and staggered squat. Oops. So on your stagger, the back leg is gonna be the one working. So you're gonna pull it up, step back. This leg is loaded, pushes you back up. Okay, clean, load the back leg, come back up, and then a back racked reverse lunge glider. So we're here, we're sitting in our heel. Okay, all right, let's go. Seated twist, five, four, three, two, one, we're off. Good job. Make sure it's not all arm as well, so you're not picking it up and then just slinging over. Resistance against the pull over, okay? That's what we're thinking. 19. Two. Good job, one. I'm gonna use my 20s as well. Hanging clean. Step back into that back leg squat. All right, excuse me, sir. There we go, two, one. Pull it up, step back. Good 
Give yourself patience. Good work, come on, 15. Last one, breathe. I'm just gonna take one of these, back rack, so right above your shoulder blades below your traps. Okay, wide stance, sit into your heels. Let's go. Pause there, dig the heel down like you're hammering a nail into the floor with your heel. Push, push, push. There you go. Get there, push the heel. Because the heel push activates the glutes. Push. And if this is too light, grab the other one or round two. Know that you gotta bump it up for yourself. Seven. Two. And breathe, drop that dumbbell down. Let's stay right here, okay? Stay down in the squat. One, two, one. Chest up, good, make sure you're not here, unless you're really feeling the music going on right now. Keep your chest up. Good job, under, under, here we go. Just stay moving and stay in your squat. 10 seconds, we're going back to clean and staggered squat. All right, hip power, three, Two, let's go. Good, same thing. When you step back, drive that heel into the floor. Push your body up out of it. Two, rest. Whew. And we're going back to dumbbell twist because I accidentally skipped that first exercise. Wrong order. We're still gonna hit it. Give your legs a little break. Two, one. Sorry about that, that was my fault. Not too eager to get back to the compound moves. Lean it back. Remember, this is resistance against your core, not just your arms. Keep your arms kind of close to your body. Use your core to rotate that body with the weight on it. So if it would help, you can also throw it here. Twist, keep the lean back, and you'll feel what I want you to feel. Good job, five. And breathe. Now, back rack, lunge glider. And then I'll do round three in the correct order. <laughs> All right, my 20 is on my back. Heels down, let's go. Heel, heel push, heel push. Keep your knee out too. When you go in, make sure your knee doesn't start going in before you do. Keep it out here, You're pushing over, okay? Be patient in the transition from here back over. I think sometimes that's where we get a little, this should feel faster, right? Get here and you're like, go, go, go. Sit, dig the heel, dig the heel. That's where you feel the glutes 
working. Two, 45 seconds, good job. Whew. Let's take it here, little hinges. All right, 10 on this leg, 10 on the other leg. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs when you get to 10, heel drives 10. Nine, eight, five, three, two. All right, let's get ready. Have a seat, we're gonna do the right order this time. Dumbbell twists in four. All right, let's go. Good work. Breathe. Just don't leave, don't quit, don't stop. You're doing great. Nine. Three. Good job, breathe. Now come on up. <laughs> Clean and staggered squat. You can, by the way, you can also do this with just one dumbbell or a kettlebell. All right, give me the hinge, catch, and then set it back. Let's go. back, set your heels down. Three. Come on, come on, sit, sit. And if this feels like you can't get anywhere, like, okay, I'm already over here, but I can't sit down, step out a little further, okay? And then think, hip back towards my heel. There you go. And then once you get the hang of that, just try and stay down and keep that going. Hip to heel, hip to heel. Back stays strong, chest stays up while you're doing this. Hip to heel, plant the heel. Stay down for five. Good job. Breathe. 45 seconds rest. Make it active, grab some water. I need a drink. Whew. All right, good work. We've got two abs and a glute here. Leg raise and suitcase. Then we've got jackknives, and then we've got hamstring curls, okay? So a little bit of both, to be honest. All right, leg raise, suitcase. You're gonna go up, out, Tuck, out, okay? If you need to do that with one leg, you can do it with one. Up, out, back in, switch. Ready? Let's go there. The whole time I'm thinking, don't let my ribs reach up to the ceiling. They're reaching for the ground. Same thing with my belly button and my hips. Everything is reaching for the floor.
four. Breathe. Great job. Next one, two jackknives left and then two on the right. Ready? Two. Exhale and go. I love the other arm on the ground so your spine is kind of like a T with your arms. So that way when you go up, you can kind of support that lower as well. To make this tougher, both arms are up and down. Twenty. Ten. And rest. Heels are on the sliders. Hamstring curls. All right, I wanted to put this here with the ab circuit so that everything can get ample rest. One at a time if you need to, two at a time if you can. Let's go. And if you're not ready for the sliders, let's tap out, pull in, okay? Relax your toes. Don't be gripping your shoes with your toes. Just think heel to the floor, hips high. Nine. And rest. Good job, stay here. All right, take your legs out, out. 45 seconds, just stay up in the glute bridge. Okay, legs go out. Good job, bring your heels in together now and pulse up, little frog pumps. By the way, to everyone that's done these sliders on the carpet, the entire duration of the sliders, definitely harder than doing them on the concrete floor or the wood floor. So props to you all. This is my first carpet experience. That was different. Four, we're back up. Leg raise, suitcase. Let's go. That's it. Sometimes I will crunch up like this, just to keep my core turned on. Seventeen, come on, good, good, good. If you're feeling tired, it's because you're working really hard. Stay strong. Five. Rest, okay. Jackknives, to each side. If you wanna add a dumbbell to your hands, that's fine, but I want your biceps to stay beside your ears. All right, Whew. here we go. Three, two, one. You're doing great, up and up. Also, if you wanna support your head, use the hand of the same side leg that's going up, okay? Other leg is reaching across. Second half, let's go. Yeah, you got it, come on. Seven. Breathe. Hamstring curls, round two. So now everyone that's been doing these on the carpet the whole time, props. This is harder, but you're stronger for it, right? Let's go.
Come on, come on. Try not to pull your heels in and then lift your hips. Okay, unless you need that option for a dial back. Try to keep everything coming up and in. Uh, five. And rest. Roll over onto your right hip for me. There you go. Top leg is lifting the whole time, okay? Take it in circles. Whew, active rest here. Of course it's optional. Little circles, you're drawing a circle with your heel. We'll go back one more time through all three of these, and then we'll finish with a glute bridge circuit. Okay, keep the circles going. You got 15 seconds, and then we'll start leg raise and tuck. Give me three more circles. Three, two, one, lay it down flat. Here we go, abs. Seventeen, you're doing wonderful. Everything is burning. You might be a little hot. If you're like me, you're very sweaty right now. These are all just signs that you're working hard as well as your muscle fatigue, you're breathing heavy. Last one, good. Just to reiterate, the sweatiest workouts are not the most effective workouts. So don't judge it by that. You know how I feel about strength training. Okay, and they're not always the sweatiest workouts, but they're always effective. Two jackknives, let's go. And just in case you haven't noticed, in all of our strength workouts, we do still work your heart and your cardio, or your heart and your respiratory. Come on, let's keep it up. 18. <sighs> 10. <sighs> Breathe. All right, last round of curls. My hamstring slider carpet peeps. So much respect for you. <laughs> it's like there's an extra layer of resistance. I'm glad I'm doing this. Two, one, let's go. Great, 15, finish this one strong. Relax your toes, heels to glutes, heels to glutes. Five. And rest for 45. We're going into glute work, okay? Oh. Glute bridges, grab your heavy dumbbell, and if you have it, your heavy glute resistance band, okay? I've got my 40 pound dumbbell, my heavy band. We're gonna start with just regular bridges. Okay, 13 seconds. Quick drink of water. All right, four. Heels down, squeeze the glutes up. I'm going for a kind of a power approach here. So exhale, okay, power it up. Okay. 
Yes, good job, come on. Ten. Four. Rest, good job. All right, next round, you're going up. When you get to the top, drag your knees out, bring them back to neutral, then lower. Okay, so it's up, out, close, down. Ready? Let's go. Up, out, close, down, up. When you take your knees out, don't let your butt drop. Okay, so it's not up, open, okay? Open, stay high. Fifteen, great work, come on. Four. And breathe, good job. Next one, you come up and you stay up. And your legs go out, in, out, in. Okay? Whew. Four. Ready? Let's go. Out, out, out. Keep driving them out. Don't let your glutes relax. They're reaching for each other as hard as they can. Your knees are reaching away from each other as hard as they can. Oh, come on, come on. Woo. Seven. And rest. <sighs> Good work. Take that dumbbell onto the side. All right? I'm gonna just hold right here. <sighs> Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> that bottom glute powering everything. <sighs> Good job. I know it's heavy. Stay here. Stay right there, come on. Hold it, hold it. Drive up a little more, a little more. 10, nine. Three, two, rest, okay. Same thing on the other side and you've made it. These single leg bridges are tough. You don't need the band anymore if you have it on. Okay, but rock right into it. Five seconds. Other side, hip high. Two, one. Good, 45 right here. And we have made it. Good job, you're working your abs, working your glutes. Almost there, come on. 15. Hold up, hold up, hold up, five. Two, one, and you have made it to your cool down. Flip it over on your belly. Good work. Oh. Big inhale, big exhale, push up. Good work today. Hope you got a really well-rounded glute and ab workout. Tuck your chin, lift your hips up, and reach them back. Pinky fingers on the ground. Good job, thumbs up to the ceiling. Now, watch my transition into this next stretch. Keep your hands here, lift your hips up. 
Okay, hips are in the air. Now reach your pinkies back out and drop your chest down. Oh, how good does that feel, right? For everyone that sits all day, this is a great stretch to open up your back, your lats, your shoulders and triceps even. You can also do this by putting your pinkies on the edge of a table and dropping your head down through your arms. All right, walk back in, tabletop position. Inhale, let your ribs drop. Exhale, lift them up. Again. Again. One more. Good. Hips up, heels or toes down. Good job. Walk it back to your toes nice and slow. Really, really proud of you today. Whew. All right, bend your legs. Make your way up to standing nice and slow, rolling it up. Whew. Okay, we made it. Cross it over, just pull to stretch your side body out. Something I said in the workout that I want you to remember when I was complaining about the new challenge of doing sliders on the carpet, which for everyone that already does them on the carpet, you're like, yeah, Sydney, it's not as easy as it looks. I understand now. But what I said when I was doing that, I'm glad I'm doing them. Why am I glad I'm doing them? Because I always, always want a way to challenge myself a little bit more. I don't want to stay the same. I don't want to just be complacent. And it's totally fine to be grateful for where you're at, to be grateful for the things that you've accomplished. But that's different than just being complacent because you're maybe afraid of a new challenge or because you're afraid of trying something and not succeeding entirely, okay? It's fine to be complacent if you're happy with where you're at and you've worked hard to get there and you're embracing that. But when that time comes where you want to flip that switch, you say, I want to achieve something more. I can see this visual in my head. I have something in my heart that I really want but you're afraid or you're not sure how to approach it. Don't let all those things stop you from embracing the challenge because what you get out of just embracing and going through the challenge is just as good as not, if not better, than actually achieving the thing that you want, okay? So I'm glad I did my sliders on the cart, but I'm glad I embraced that challenge with you because I want to see change. I want to see strength in my hamstrings especially. And I'm very thankful for that extra challenge and I'm thankful that you were there with me. So don't shy away from things that are challenging to you or you're afraid of failing at, okay? Embrace everything that you encourage or that you encounter on the journey to where you wanna go, all right? It'll be just as good as the thing that you achieve when you get there. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up when you're done and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. What are you working on? What do you wanna find? What do you wanna accomplish? What do you wanna be? I wanna hear it in the comments below. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great job today.